room and that's the convention center right yep. and we can get to the convention center by this this thing right here I think chaos who are you for the people on my blog my oh. 50 viewers hello vloggers uh, vloggies vlog guides vlog indicators uh, my name is Teos I uh, love going to conventions I love organized play and so I'm here this year, I am uh, the big thing I'm doing is running, helping to run along with two other guys, the Dungeons and Dragons Open, which is a cool, semi-competitive event that takes place on Saturday. It's gonna be huge and awesome and really cool, and it takes place in the brand new story area that Dungeons and Dragons is unveiling. What's so? What's the difference between like Adventures League games that you're playing and an open play? Because I think that is really neat. So the open is uh, you can play with your Adventures League character, which is the organized play program that D and D has. Or you can just play because you want to, and so you can bring your level one pregen, uh, pick one up there at the thing, or bring a level one character, and you can play. And it's a uh, dungeon delve in uh, the jungles of Chult. And when you are going through and exploring lost temples, you know, think Indiana Jones type stuff. When you're doing all of that, uh, there are going to be some real challenges: tricky monsters, traps, things like that. And at the end of it, we're going to actually crown some winners. And the winner isn't just the one who gets the table that gets the most points, but also uh, tables to do kind of funky things or find kind of hidden achievements, if you want to think of it that way, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right. Realizing it, Derek and I accidentally double booked an event um, for the same time slot. Um, so I have two events at like 6 p.m. on Friday, and he has another one that's overlapping. Um, it's weird that the system would allow you to do that, but there you are. So we are currently hanging out at customer service, and we are going to get a refund for one of our tickets. Um, compared to previous years, the lines here are actually not as insane as they have been. So so far, it's been a pretty good experience. <laughs>
What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I've got a like a, a DM workshop for Unknown Armies tomorrow morning, I think. Because uh, the, the new game came out on Kickstarter and I'm super excited about it. So there's a workshop slash RPG or something uh, about how to actually like kick off a group and get to playing it. So I want to do that so I can go home and convince my friends to actually sit down and play. Forward to that you're not running. Okay, so the thing I most want to play is probably uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord because I always know that's going to be a super fun, fun game. Um, and then new things that I haven't tried before. I have not tried 7C, which I'm going to do, and I might jump into a Star Trek RPG session. You should do the Star Trek one. I should. I want a review. <laughs> okay. Hey Nelly, what are you looking forward to doing the most? I, uh, I I usually don't sign up for any events at Origins. I usually just wing it and hang out with this guy. But this year I decided I would sign up for a whole bunch of minis events. So I'm going to learn how to sculpt accessories. Uh, sculpt accessories and fur. I'm going to learn how to do highlighting and skin tones and weathering effects. Time to go to my first officially scheduled event. It starts in about 15 minutes and it is the Reaper speed paint. If you're not familiar with speed painting, what it is is that you get an, a figure, some paints and an hour and you have to paint it and it's a competition. There's probably gonna be like 10 people there and I think two people make it through the first round and then get put into the next round, which I think is on Saturday. Really, I'm just using it as an excuse to go sit down and paint for an hour and I'm really looking forward to it.
Okay, so it turns out that I really suck at um, speed painting. Instead of giving us an hour, they give us about 40 minutes to paint the figure. Reaper figures, which are made of a material where you don't actually need to prime them before painting them, but it made all the paint on the figure bead, so you needed to use extra thick layers, which then didn't dry. So essentially I just did a terrible job. Um, it's fine, I didn't win, obviously. But um, it's a lot of bunch of fun. I'm glad I tried it. It got me sitting down and painting for a little bit. But now I am going to try and find my husband. He cannot locate his credit card, which is crappy. Um, I think he's at the hotel room retracing his steps at the moment. Um, uh, I just got a message. He didn't find it. I don't know where he could have left it. So I'm going to go catch up with him. Might just have a chill evening and relax. Maybe we'll go find some people and hang out with them. We'll see. I will keep you guys updated. while I was on my way back to see um, Derek at the hotel room. I am going to go check out the convenience store they have down here. Down here. I forgot to bring our hairbrush comb thing so maybe they'll have something and then maybe I can also pick up some snacks and maybe cheer Derek up a little bit. So let's see. So one other interesting thing to note that if you've never been to Origins before that is really super cool is that the convention center is connected directly to the Hyatt and everybody has to walk through like the bar part of the Hyatt, it's called Big Bar and Six that overlooks the walkway of the convention center pretty much. So that's usually where people will gather because that's where everybody sees each other walking past. It's really neat. And the part that I'm currently in is the food court part of the convention center. And there is like 20 different options for affordable food. Philly cheesesteaks is right behind me. I was just in a uh, just down the hall from it. That's where the grocery store and the gift store is. Also that comic book store. Across the street is where Barley's is, where we had food today. It is just a ton of very close, convenient options for you. And a lot of the hotels are within walking distance. We've been chilling in the room for a while now. Yeah. And um, Derek has been working on Gen Con stuff. I have been editing this video and the day before's video and I ate a lot of little tiny donuts. I forget the hostess ones. Mm -hmm. They were pink so I had to get them. And uh, some random stranger messaged Derek on 
uh, Facebook, and apparently he had lost his card in the Games Workshop booth, and they found it for him, so we're very happy. And right now, Tom Kroom, he is the guy that runs the anime track here at Origins. We're helping him out by running some events for him. And he's arrived, and he wants to meet us, and he's in the, oh, he's in the lobby. I felt your heart beat, felt your mouth. Back in the hotel room, gonna finish my editing and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!